not the national touchstone. Its unifying quality has drawn nations, generations and peoples together. Its legacy echoes loudly and resonates deeply. Those qualities and character demonstrated by the Anzacs and encapsulated by the idea of the Anzac spirit with its courage, mateship and sacrifice are that to which we aspire and against which we judge ourselves. And because of this today, many hundreds of thousands of Australians and New, Zealand's, New Zealanders will have shivered in the cold of dawn at Anzac Cove in Turkey, in Canberra and Christchurch, in Wellington and Sydney, in Auckland and in Melbourne, and in a multitude of country towns and coastal villages, as well as wherever Australians and New Zealanders are to be found around the world gathering, as we do here in South Sudan, to pay respects to our fallen and honour their memory, to reflect on the loss from all wars and not rejoice over victories won, to commemorate the sacrifice and dedication of all who served, to remember our forebears who remind us in the face of an unknown future what we can be and to recognise those who serve now. And for those of us serving, the modern Anzacs, to rededicate ourselves to our duty. For Australians, today is about remembering our bond with New Zealand, because there can be no talk of Anzac. There can be no notion of Anzac spirit without New Zealand. On every operation, 